Hey, comrade. Thanks for asking. So I started reading Georgi Dimitrov a few years ago. I started purchasing every book I could find by him or about him. And I wrote up a little booklet called Lessons from Georgi Dimitrov. If anybody wants the PDF to that booklet, email readdimitrov at gmail.com and I'll send you over the PDF. I'm working on rewriting the first uh, chapter to make it read a little bit better and uh, then I'll be re-releasing it and I'll actually start publicizing it and trying to get it out there more. So anyways, a short reading list from Georgi Dimitrov. The first book I would say is definitely The Fascist Offensive. Uh, this is available online, marxist.org. It's a wonderful book. It's very, very short. Awesome. Uh, this book right here, The People's Will to Peace, I think it's pretty neat because it's one of Dimitrov's later work uh, in the 80s. And we don't see much uh, from him in the 80s. And so I think this is a really awesome book. Um, and you get a lot out of it. It's talking about the non-aligned movement and the UN and the Cold War. And then here we have the Brown Book of the Hitler Terror and the Burning of the Reichstag Fire. There's two of these books. There's the first Brown Book and the second Brown Book. Try to get it in there. Uh, and so these are awesome because when Dimitrov was on trial by the German Nazi Party for the uh, burning of the Reichstag uh, building, uh, along with a few other communists and Marinus van der Lubbe as well, and there's a lot of material about it. In the Brown Books, they basically, the international community came and gathered as much information as they could on the uh, fire. And they put the evidence into those books and got it out to the international community to counter the fascist narrative. And this Dimitrov versus Goring, you can read that online. That's literally Dimitrov uh, questioning Goring, you know, famous Nazi, um, uh, on the stand. Because... Dimitrov represented him has represented himself. Uh, this right here is awesome. Dimitrov and journalism. Uh, Dimitrov started working uh, in a print shop as a youth. The tasks of the trade unions. Another later work. It's awesome. Memories of Georgi Dimitrov. Great book written about him. I obviously thought it was pretty important. You can see all my notes. <laughs> Dimitrov's letters from prison when he was in the Nazi prison, selected articles and speeches. These are different books and they do have different stuff in them uh, for youth. And his autobiography is the most important book. Check it out.